You got the perfect amount of fame. Like you can get, be recognized at a Piggly Wiggly every now and then. And you don't have to worry about walking to. <laughs> you ain't what the, what the hell is that? Like a grocery store. What a compliment! You might get recognized at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the X5 Podcast. X5 Worldwide. Let's, worldwide. Let's start out with our CEO, the man in charge, yeah. Charlie Reese. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. How are you? Back for like a fifth week in a row is the Casio Kid. Well, we're way, way out here in the middle of nowhere, and I don't know how to get home. I don't know. How to, there's a roundabout out there that keeps... Me up. <laughs> he can't send me right back to the studio. <laughs> so I'm here whenever y'all need me. I... We have Bert, our new audio engineer, Bert. who's, who's oh, been working right. tirelessly Bert. to get us set up. Bert, yeah. Damn right. And uh, the guy that keeps all our cars running, it's uh, St. Germain. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I don't keep shit running. Like you <laughs> our special guests. They look good. They don't run. Well, yeah, yeah but look around. Everything's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very special guest today. I don't know how we got him. His pinto broke down right here in Cleveland, Alabama. If you Alabama. pulled him away from the sand, this is a big win right I know, here. man. We just happened to catch him while he's up here in town doing shows. It's uh, Big Earl. Everybody say Welcome. Big Earl. What's up? I thought I'd have some damn headphones working in this uh, nice studio. <laughs> in this old rinky dink no. studio. Uh, that shit ain't working in here. Uh, I can't work in these conditions. They work better when you put them on your head. No, they're, 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 they're out. out. They're oh, out. Okay, but that's all. Right. We don't need them. That's for, that's for wussies. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll tell you um, what. I'll talk to the audio engineer for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. let him know you're having problems. Thank yeah. you. We take all of our applause. I'll let him know. No, I'm okay. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Big Earl plays at the Floribama. That's his main home base. Now he'll go out on tour. He's he's just coming off a, a long stretch of a three day tour, and it's weird on him. He didn't even recognize his wife when he gets back home. You know, it's like one of those kind of tours that just never ends, does it? <laughs> it's br- brutal. We on tour like me, baby. Just up the, old, the old PT cruiser and fire that son of a jump and you hit out and do it. I mean, you got to get back and then back, you know, sort of calm down after that superstar on the lead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Get back to the normal Cruiser. life a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jack plays every Friday and Saturday at the Bama at like 5 o'clock. And man, don't, if you... Don't call him Jack for the rest of the show. Right. Big Earl. <laughs> yeah. That's Big Earl. Yeah. Big Earl. Big Earl, when did you start playing for Bama? 28 years ago. Oh, 28 years ago? Yeah, 28 years ago. Let me tell you. I, I can't, can't tell what he's being funny or what he's being funny. No, that's the <laughs> truth. Let me tell you some shit. So, 28 <laughs> years ago, I'm playing in Floribama, and spring break would happen. And I was thinking about this the other day. Spring break would happen, and all these young spring breakers come in, you know, and I'm going, hell yeah. Uh, I'm a little old, but I'm a big <laughs> now, now I've been here so long, I look forward to fucking snowbird season. <laughs> 62 years old. Bet you're looking fine. I yeah. didn't even know the four band was that old. <laughs> yeah, it's been there for, since 1964. So no, I'm like, damn. Well, all right. I, don't, I can't even do the quick math on 28 years ago. I appreciate you telling us just a year. But, uh, uh, whatever that was, 1962, apparently it's 28 years ago. But uh, how, are you are you doing music? Are you touring? Like, how do you end up at Floribama? Because you, I, I know a little bit of the backstory. You were a teacher at the time, but how do you end up there? Well. I got fired. (laughs) (laughs) Piss on that tenure. No, No, you know, I I worked in Branson for six years, which is country music 
Oh, yeah. Hell, capital of the world. Couldn't mm. stand that shit. They don't let you say some bitch or nothing on stage. <laughs> it was tough. I don't get tired every night. <laughs> and then after I left Branson, I went to work for David Allen Cole for a while playing guitar for him. So you're talking about a shocker there. Oh, yeah. my God. Then I decided that I'm going to go to Nashville and be a writer. So I go to Nashville, try to be a songwriter. And I pitched some songs, and a record label said, you want a record deal as a singer? So I said, yeah. He said, well, so I, I guess. Did that. <laughs> did a few videos. That shit didn't work out. Them out. So I, I saw one of those videos you posted oh, recently. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Who wrote the treatment for that video? Oh, God. It's the worst shit. <laughs> and I don't care. You know all these people saying, I'm an outlaw. I did it my way. Whatever. <laughs> when you go to town and you're not that good to begin with and somebody offered you a deal, oh, yeah. you do what they tell you to. You, know? right. you sent it to the long table, you're going to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> My song sucked. I sucked. Everything sucked. I went back to the beach and went to work in Alabama. You're, you're from Arkansas, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What part of Arkansas? Dardanelle, Russellville. Then I lived six years in Harrison uh, by by the Missouri line when I worked in Branson, Missouri. Nobody can tell his football a- affiliation. Like, he's constantly saying, "I'm this year I'm going to go for Bama. This year I'm going for Arkansas. Every year it seems like it's somebody different. I've seen that LSU tag on that ride you come pulling up in. Well, yeah, well, that's because my wife's an LSU grad. Oh, okay. Oh, that's she, a went, good okay. she went, I think, seven years there and got her associate degree. And, and tell, us, tell us about all the road. Got her associate's degree. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I found out when you when you when moved down here from Arkansas, nobody said go hogs in Arkansas. No. But down here, like, you want a sandwich? Row tide, baby. That's how you answer. Kind of go out with your sister, row tide. <laughs> it's like craziest thing. How do you get hooked up with David Allen Co.? Well, he decided he's going to put a little show outside of Branson, Missouri. Which well, they old, wouldn't let him in. Yeah. 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 Like a yeah. balloon. Yeah. You know, like a China <laughs> balloon fighting over there. Yeah. And, and he, that, it's worse shit. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me tell you. So I see the show for the first time in a theater, family theater. And my old fiddle player, George Mason, was working with, with him before I started playing. And he comes down on stage. And at that time, he's doing magic. So what? He, yeah, magic. Yeah. Wait, the, David Allen. Yeah, the worst magician you ever walked in. Watch my hair disappear. So the band get get this, David. The only thing was on stage was the drums during his magic. So the steel player and guitar player had to pick up their guitar and amp and go off stage. Then a Charles Manson looking like guy named Bob that it was his helper to come out and hand him a black hat, <laughs> a top hat, and he'd walk up real slow to the crowd and turn it like this. Yeah. Nothing, and there's no ta da, nothing. Then turn it back over and pull a rabbit out, and they're going, Look how low that is. It's so bizarre. And people like, right. Fuck. <laughs> it was so bad. So my fiddle player quit after one night. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, he went doing music he too. He was huh? just he was just doing magic. No then music. he would go back and do a couple of songs. Then he'd go back and do some more magic. It was the worst magic I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Is it, I've heard a rumor about him. He won't let you run the air conditioner in. A, in a oh, I've been to the show yeah, where he didn't like run his air conditioner and, and stuff and him. But yeah, he you know he just he just he drives his own bus. Yeah, hell, I me. Mean, Y'all remember a song in the whole world calls me Copperfield. He did that for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, the dude, you know, he he's notorious for firing drummers and beating up drummers and everybody else. <laughs> and so, did he kick your ass or not? So the ba- huh? Did he kick your ass or not? No, he didn't kick my I wasn't with him long enough. I said, <laughs> 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 Got more weeks. He would have one. I was the best guy in the band, and I sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, bass player, Randy, that he had with him after I got the hell out of there, he called me and said, I've got the best one for you. I said, what? He said, so David fired another drummer, and we're playing a show. We don't know who's going to drum. So David goes to the music store. This is in the 90s or whatever. And he buys one of them Lisa's 16 SR drum machines. You remember oh, those? my God, yeah. And yes. he sets it on a bar stool by him at this big club, and he's – Screwing with that thing all night long, trying to get it out of the stage, trying to get tip holes and walls and four four shuffles and two fours. And the band just back there going, What the f? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and so the last song, he getting it figured out, and he goes, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. It was all. I'm happy. They were like, we saw that one. Yeah. We're good to go. You don't. You definitely don't come out on stage and open up with that song. You nah, lose nah, the whole. Nah, but that's where I got my. My little thing that I do on stage when I say, here's one I wrote back in 1954 on a plane going from Fort Worth to Dallas, Texas, you know, like that. because he would always he would always make up this, this shit. You know, I wrote this song from a young boy named Elvis Presley, and he'd start playing, Are You Lonesome Tonight? We're trying to back him. He didn't write none of that. <laughs> <laughs> but people in the audience go, oh, my God. Oh, oh he's good. I'm all good. Hey, thank you, Chuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, all my shit. David Allen Cole stories. <laughs> yeah. All the ones you can tell. Yeah. 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 This is oh, like okay. a family show yeah. now. Yeah, he yeah, has family show. I guess he's still alive, I guess, isn't he? I mean, he looks, <laughs> he looks like they put him out of a casket. I'll I think, be honest no, with I think you. he passed away seriously last year. Oh, did he? No, we did I'm not. just kidding. I have oh, no <laughs> I love his music. I mean, I love his music. Yeah. I wish there's more out there like him instead of Florida Georgia Line. Yeah. <laughs> we know what a Here big we fan. We know what a big fan you are. Shots of Florida fired Georgia. already. Uh, By I'm the sorry. way, Dustin, come in here and pull up that uh, that, that video of his. He's got online. But what he, video? Uh, him at Florida oh, Georgia you'll Line. You'll see it in a second because we're going to show it for everybody else yeah. too. It's it's really funny. He uh he had a raccoon. I mean, I'm I'm going to set it up for you, but he had a raccoon. That, that on his property when he was up in um, Orange, Beach. Or, Orange Beach and he couldn't catch it and he finally caught it and so what he does with it once he catches it is the humor in this video he'll uh, dust him to pull up in just a second <laughs> they kept tearing up my grass I put new grass down they, <laughs> the raccoons? yeah I caught them on uh, camera doing it they'd roll it up that new sod and eat the bugs and I couldn't catch them I finally caught one <laughs> this is great and this I thing's got me. like Watch this. Tore up my yard again. Uh -oh. So I went in the refrigerator and I got some broccoli, some some beans, and some other stuff that was in there, and shrimp, and took it back out and threw it in the trap. And uh, I came back out of here this morning. And who is the man? Who's the man? Say my name, Big Daddy. Right here. <laughs> Hold right over there. Look what I got right here. Oh. Get closer to that thing. That's right. That's right. Look what you did to my yard over here. You going down, you better hunker down because Big Daddy's getting ready to torture you. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> so good, watch this. Right here. <laughs> you going to listen to this all day long? Oh, he's rearing up on you. That's right. All oh, day long. Shit. <laughs> Florida, Georgia. <laughs> 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 yeah, I hit down there. And I'm bringing out a picture of Nancy Pelosi, and you're going to have to see that too. <laughs> <laughs> so Florida Georgia Line ended up seeing that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And they, what do they, they think about that? Well, they sent me a message by the way of uh, Randy Hauser. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah. And uh, they found one of my old videos from the nineties oh, and pulled it over. It's on it. Pulled it over. <laughs> so I don't think the coon wants to hear this shit either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you do, can... you, uh, do you know Randy personally? No, I mean, I'm knowing, but we're not buddies. I mean, we 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 talk. He you know, seems several like a times, good dude. He's at the beach a lot, but I, we're not buddies. Nothing. But he's a real nice guy. He can sing his ass off. Yeah, he's a hell of a damn yeah, he's singer. Awesome. Yeah, he, he's a good singer. But he's good friends with a buddy of mine that it lived down to beach. He hangs out with him all the time. That's how they got. And Randy was best man at one of the Florida Georgia Lions wedding. And that's how, yeah. So oh, that's like, amazing. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a guy. Damn. It's got like three million, four that's million so views. so funny. So you left Nashville, and how do you end up at the beach? Well, I went to the beach the first time uh, right out of high school, this guy's going to open up a Sonic drive-in down there, and he asked me if I want to go run it because I was, you know, helping with with one in Arkansas, and I said, hey. your, your music career must have been booming yeah, for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows how to work tater tots, yeah, they were driving <laughs> <laughs> And I said, I don't, I don't want to go to Alabama. He said, why not? Where are you going to? 
where at? He said, down down by the beach. I said, Ben, don't, don't try to jerk me. Alabama doesn't have a beach. Right. <laughs> I'm from Arkansas. from Arkansas. I know we're not the smartest guys in the bus, but I know Alabama <laughs> don't have a damn I beach. Have a beach. <laughs> I don't think I had a damn beach. <laughs> so, <laughs> <it's great. Yeah. laughs> so I come down here, and he built a little restaurant, and it went right out of business. And I went back to Arkansas, but that's how I discovered it. Yeah. So then later on, I just wound up moving down here. Wait, a Sonic went out of business? Yeah, but he didn't call it a Sonic. He changed it to Eddie's Old Fashioned Burgers because he didn't want his uh, yeah, pay, franchise. Yeah, pay franchise. Well, that's yeah, pay franchise fee. Yeah, yeah. I don't know a Sonic that's ever went out. With or yeah. <laughs> did they well, use well, roller skates or no roller skates? Uh, well, no roller skates. Only See, yeah, right. Right. My Billy and Good Jersey, call, Charlie. Yeah. So he, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he wound up. Uh, <laughs> losing all of his restaurants to his wife's attorney because I think he was doing a little boom chicka boom chicka boom <laughs> on oh, side yeah, something yeah. else. So I went back to Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. and, side piece yeah. meal, please. Yeah. Side piece meal. <laughs> <laughs> Extra crispy. <laughs> but I, I mean, really, in Arkansas, you, you, you know, Pensacola has a beach, but Alabama I never yeah. knew they had a beach. They oh, yeah. Beach sure did. So yeah. Funny. I got married down there on that beach. You did? Yep. How long ago was that? 2017. <laughs> I figured it was my joke, but like, oh, cool. What was his name? <laughs> they don't allow that to go. Yeah, man, sure did. Down here at uh, uh, Orange Beach, right there, we stayed at uh, had the old penthouse right there at Lagoon Tower. Oh, yeah. And uh, had everybody down, and we had a good old time. Set up, just married, and. Hung out. I sweat my fat ass off on that beach. We had a suit on. It was. We got married in September, but it was still hotter than a firecracker. Yeah. And I was rolling sweat. I was like, "We're gonna have to hurry this shit up." I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll look good in the pictures. Yeah, the picture. I'm like <laughs> straight yeah, back. So let me get get passed out in the waves. <laughs> yeah. Let me. Yeah. <laughs> let me guess. You had a white shirt and khaki pants. No. Hey, come on. Hey, look. Uh, uh, you know, did. Come on. I'm That's old what old everybody answer. wears. No, what did you me, have? Let, no, uh, Blue pants with a white button up with a with a the blue you know jacket to match. You got a jacket? Oh, on. I'm telling you, I was hot, son. Yeah. He was telling the pictures. Yeah, he was hot. Yeah. Was, oh yeah, I was fucking. Hey, I was sweating like Chris Reeves in a dodgeball game. Fucking rough. We're gonna get emails on that. <laughs> Charlie, did he say what I think he said? So the restaurant closes, and then what? You're like, I ain't going back to Arkansas. I went back to school again, and then I went back to school some more. And, and I sold real estate for a while, and yeah. she, I went to heating and air conditioning that. school. Never did that. Yeah, graduated <laughs> police academy. Never did that. I was class president. Never did that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Went, then went back to college, and I went to ultrasound school and did the ultrasound that. school. Yeah, I taught, and then I wound up teaching cardiac uh, ultrasound Is that college right? kids over in Pensacola. And well, well, that's well, playing, problem. well, I still playing music at the floor of Bama, but yeah. I, man, I love playing to Bama. It's, it's you got a built in gig, and oh, yeah. you always got different people there, yeah. you know. You're just, you're, just, you're just living at the beach, bouncing from everything, and in the meantime, you're just playing floor of Bama on the reg. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to play four days a week. Now it's just all I do is two days a week. Yeah, it's not all I want to do, but boy, yeah. he packs them in too, boy. Friday no, and Saturday, I, it was a staple. Like we're, I get mad when I go to the Florida and Big Girl I ain't playing. I know like, you like took an out of town gig. You're like that <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> time this. Up. <laughs> I know it's one gig a year. It's one show tours. Look out the weekend. I'm down here. But we have a lot of people come down here just want to play. You know, a lot of Nashville guys. It's just a fun place to play. You had mm-hmm. you had a Kenny Chesney show up down there and play with you one one day. Yeah, night, yeah, he shows up every now and a lot of times he wears his little wig and shit. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, then, but he played on the beat for <laughs> that time. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all just skipping over that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, something I've never heard. Yeah, of. yeah. Like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> right, here we go. Right here. I ain't talking about no Bruce Jenner's yet. I'm talking about he comes in to disguise himself because you know people. People just mob him. Yeah. See, he wears oh, a okay. hat and sunglasses. And little I thought you were t- okay. Wait, but then he gets up and plays yeah. normal. Well, or does he, he play as he comes you know, to he, he as Keith Urban? But it's really. <laughs> yeah. it's just, <laughs> Wait, does he play in disguise or no? No, he'll. But but he very seldom will get up there and play. He'll pop in, you know, if he's down to beach and listen to bands. Why he's got his, you know, he's got 
disguise. It's a disguise. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's not a, hey, I'm losing. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. 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 I almost start looking for yeah. every cross-dresser down there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they have a lot of cross dressers at the bar. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to blend in with the other oh, cross dressers. Kenny's going and... to the beach, going. I'm going to stop at the gas station, get a hat with a wig. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to put in at the beach. Get the visor with the spike there. Yeah, yeah. Well, Nobody you know, will see me in this. You know what you've got to do? You got to go down there dressed as Kenny Chesney. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, I, I couldn't imagine trying to go out in public if you're yeah. Kenny yeah. or something like that. I mean, no, he's got no chance. Yeah. You've got the perfect amount of fame. Like, you can get be recognized at a Piggly Wiggly every now and then. And you don't have to worry about walking to. <laughs> you ain't what the hell like, does that mean? Like, 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 like a grocery <laughs> store. What, 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 what a compliment. Why not you get recognized <laughs> at the Piggly Wiggly for good? <laughs> Damn. Damn. He gets recognized everywhere in Gulf Shores. <laughs> I know. And you, you threw him down to Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> yeah. I can see the judgment. Over I'm just yeah. trying to keep this son of a bitch humble, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Full time job. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hell, are they recognize me at Publix? That's hardware. <laughs> I mean, we down to down D and G Dollar General. Oh hell yeah! Every town's got at least. I'm oh. surprised y'all don't have 19 of them. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Right, right down the road. We're good. They, they don't even have a hospital, but they got 30 of them. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> by God, we got us a roundabout last year at a Dollar General. Oh, that's so there, well. man. <laughs> It's amazing. I right. heard. Uh, I heard Big Earl to play him uh, a bonfire yeah. had years ago. What was it? Ten years ago or something? I remember going inside. Everything. Everybody's having a good time. I ran inside to p- piss or something. I came back out, and he's got a bunch of school teachers on the stage oh. swinging double <laughs> double sided dildos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Put the cameras away, everybody! Put the cameras yeah, away." Life is good. You know, I had that dildo called Big Mo for a long time. Big Pole. Big Mo. 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 It was a big old purple double headed. We mm-hmm. called it the LSU dildo, and I would spank <laughs> women on the birthdays. Well, anyway, so the new owners come into Bama, and they they may have had a little culture, right? Because they're like, "Do you think it's necessary for you to be swinging that dildo around?" I said, "Yeah, I believe it is." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, big, people like taking pictures with big mowing shit, you know. Oh yeah. And so finally, they said, "We're not." telling you to but it'd be nice if you could just sort of get rid of them so i had a big big ceremony in the main room where you I, retired it yeah <laughs> and, and I had a big old box and i put him in a box and i had an ad, address to a nursing home in arkansas for, for real and had a note in there said you know i've used I'm, my old age you know <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe there's something a little something in me left <laughs> You know, magic in that know, old silk and mailed it. And so <laughs> the owners were there, like, yeah, yeah. And then the people, like, you a big girl, you sell out, you yeah, a you're bitch, a pussy. you're a bitch. So I pulled <laughs> down and I pulled bitch. a. Then I turned around and pulled a big old black one out. <laughs> meet, meet, the, meet the old bombinator. <laughs> yeah, they weren't happy. They weren't happy about that. Oh, oh, my God. Right. He's right got there. a titty wheel he has on stage. And, a what? Uh, a titty wheel. Tell us about the titty wheel. Yeah, yeah, I'm misrepresenting. What's happening on the titty wheel, big girl? Okay. Well, you know, you know, a lot of you guys in bands, you get tired of playing the same shit. And I'm not going to play Sweet Home Alabama and Brown Eyed Girl and none of that shit anymore because I'm an artiste. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Well, it sure. means I don't have to because my rent's paid up for months. That's right. Once <laughs> <laughs> your rent's paid, yeah. you're done playing. Yeah. <laughs> but so I thought, I'm going to make a will and put all those songs on there. And if it lands on it, I'll play it. But I got one section that says, show them big old titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's saying that's not a song. On that. <laughs> Why do you not have a titty will here, Charlie? Uh, we need one. <laughs> You gotta wait to where it lands on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give away the no, secret. No, no, no. Man. Oh, it's yeah. so funny when people accuse him of it. He's like, "Now, goddamn it, I just had this thing calibrated in Montgomery last week. Yeah. Don't try and tell me that it's not 
got really Teddy damn. Wheel Calibration Weight and Measure Association <laughs> Committee. Certified paper is good to go, bitches. <laughs> I got it in the back of my truck. Yeah, he took it. Uh, he took right it there. Travels with the it's titty titty it's part of his production, but yeah, instead oh, yeah. of Pyro, yeah, right. he's got a titty well. <laughs> 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 so St. Germain, go get it. Give him your keys. Bring right. in the titty <laughs> well. <laughs> Tracy Man. Lawrence told me when when he, when I played the party, he said, don't come up here without your titty wheel. <laughs> 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 so I had to get a guy to make me a stand for my titty wheel. He's like, you can be sick and not even show up. Just make sure that titty make wheel sure rolls that titty out on my leg. Mama's in the kitchen making us a meal. Yeah. Daddy's in the backyard spinning teddy wheels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's only one spot. Song. There's only one spot that says show your titties on it. Oh yeah. yeah. The rest is like win a CD. I thought you'd do it like if you want me to play one of these songs. He, oh, he, show show you he ain't playing Sweet Home when, until a show. Gotta see some big old titties, and even I mean, bad ones. They can't be no ugly ass titties either. They got to be beautiful. Unless it's red He's a judge and jury on the titties. <laughs> I'm a titty connoisseur. You know, all those brawls didn't get up there by themselves. That's that right. That they yeah. hang. That's When's the a, last time y'all been to the Bama? It's been years. It's been probably. 2008, 2009. Well, how about I plug my there. show? I'm be, I'll be there mullet toss this year. Did you, did you, Ooh, did you book that right, right out from under Big Earl or what? Wait, <laughs> Big Earl, why don't you play it. mullet toss? I do play mullet toss, but uh, I don't like to because it's so damn crowded. It's hard to get in and out. But after you're there, you That's love an it. Arrow. After yeah. there, you love it. But so many people come out there, it's hard to get It's the busiest in. weekend of the year. Isn't yeah. It? But right. after you there, you love it. it you just, know when you're in a good spot where you're like, man, I don't like to do that gig. It's just too packed. Well, yeah. you <laughs> yeah. 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 Mostly everybody's like, I just need people at my gig. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just when it, I play, it's no, just it ain't out packed of control. Me, it's packed because mullet toss, you've got to find a place to park and oh, get yeah. your gear out. That's a hard part. But after you there, it's fun. <laughs> I'll, I'll, sing, I'll sing you a song. He's yeah, 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 now it's time for a song. I'll, I'll sing you a song here. When, hey, when do you go from... Uh, Nashville record deal. I'm playing serious songs. To hey, I need to I need to slip in a a, a funny song. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> a very artistic question for an artistic so, artist. Yeah. So my CD from Nashville that that when I thought I was a man for a little while. So I went back <laughs> to Florida went to work as a guitar player, and I started doing singles too. And I do some songs off my CD that were had were on CMT, you know, videos. Nobody. Not clapped. getting a reaction. Nothing. Nothing. You're a damn human jukebox. Right. So I had my CD. I said, the first person from out of state gets a CD. Nobody came up. And then I'm so I'm so fucking stupid. I immediately said, How many people from Tennessee? Yeah. How many from Louisiana? Yeah. <laughs> but y'all don't want my CD. Yeah. <laughs> So I went home. So I went home. I lived all the way in Foley by then. I thought, what the shit? I said, piss on. I'm going to start doing what I always wanted to do right. and just write funny songs and just do what I want to do because my career can't get any worse. Oh, yeah, exactly. And that's when it happened. What was the first funny song you wrote? Uh, the Arkansas Love Song. Okay. <laughs> how's that, how's that go? <laughs> Boy, that was a good how's time. All right, Arkansas see Love <laughs> Song. <laughs> Me, me, me. <laughs> well, I remember my first love when I was 15. A man, she was hot, the one of my dreams. Every day after school, I'd meet her down by the creek. I could still hear the words she'd speak when she said, Bah. <laughs> she said, Bah. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. There you go. That's like it. Wait, did you? Did you give him a heads up before you uh, oh, played yeah. it, or you just hit it? Did you I act just like you're serious. First time, time you hit it, I just hit it, and just everybody after a while, like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Is he talking about fucking a sheep? Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to get some shots, but we didn't figure this out. Right, right. And then I, then I think this, this may have been my right after that. I used to tell all these guys, if you ever married, never walk up to your woman and say this. I made love to your mother on the 
seat of my truck. Come on. Things man will do when he gets liquored up. Saw her bra in the floorboard land by her depends. After I threw up, I hit that ass again. <laughs> David, when's the first time you saw him? Um, I don't know. I'm terrible about time. It was at the Bama, though, for sure. And, uh, and you don't only play those you play some good old country too that's the good thing about his show is that uh it's a little bit of everything his demographics in bed by nine o'clock though i'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no 10 p yeah. shows would be it's like, <laughs> that's, that's us so yeah that's uh, what? you playing at 2 a.m when you go or you oh, in the no. early shift I go 5.30 until about 9 o'clock whenever I get tired and I go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, What's you, time you, to go. If you had to pick one, current artist, country artist, who's one that's still true to the roots? Boy, it's it's going to be hard. Yeah, what do you like on country? See, yeah. because I don't listen to country radio anymore because 90% of it sucks ass. <laughs> you but, like the Cody G like, stuff? Uh, but some of the people I've – I've been listening to like Cody Johnson, yeah. Sturgill Simpson. Sturgill's great. You know, but some of the old ones like the, you know, like the Nichols and stuff like that. I like those guys, but I'm more what traditional. What did you say? Yeah, oh. Joe Nichols. You, 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 know, you <laughs> thought we had a problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No hard yeah. 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 went hard. So. <laughs> yeah. And a little yeah. bit of Justin Bieber, you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Country. <laughs> With a little Taylor Real Swift shit. on it. Yeah, but I like stuff with a melody and words instead of every song. Yo, girl, get in the truck. Yeah, girl, we're going down dirt road, girl. We got a bonfire by the river. Yeah, we're going to party. Slide up in this jacked up four wheel drive. Kiss my ass. He just sang every song on my new album. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, he shot an early copy. Yeah. Shawty's over there writing it down. Hold on. Like, what was that? One more time. That's track one. It's like, it's like, it's like, Yo, girl, we're all hot. We're going to the farm, bitches. Everybody. We're all hot. Farm, bitches. Oh, God. You get heckled a lot at the Bama? No. The one thing that they learn, and you know this, you never heckle anybody that has a microphone. No, you'll always. No, some but people don't learn. But you'll have some drunk girl or some drunk dude yeah. that will they'll, they'll do it, and you got to put them in their place. And I've I've learned the easy way without offending anybody when they do it. If they keep on, if you gently go up to them and say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm that tends to work, though. I went and watched Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock a couple weeks ago, and you'd think for the money I spent to be that close to the stage that there would be no riffraff, but there was a dude behind us. It's Alabama, goddamn. You're goddamn right. And Chris is making jokes about uh, getting an abortion at four years old. Like, I think you should be able to get abortions till four years old. And that's obviously a joke. And the guy's like, no, he right. He right about that, though. Because then the audience, man, they don't know shit. And I, and it's driving everybody in the in the section crazy, what kind of dude. What was that? Was that a, <laughs> no, yeah. Was that, <laughs> what kind of accent? It was Inslee, I think. But I'm telling you, he eventually passes out head to Lauren's back. And she's like, he's passed out against me. And I look, and I was like, well, for everybody in this section, you better not move. <laughs> if you wake up this sleeping giant right here, dude. If you, take one for the team. Yeah, you got to take one for the team, sweetheart, please. Just we're all trying to enjoy the show. Earl, who, who's who's the first famous guy that came up to you at the club and said, hey, can I, can I jam with you? At the club, I tell you, it was besides uh, me. Yeah, I mean, besides you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would be one night. Him, yeah. <laughs> and he's a damn good drummer. I mean, he's a rock and roll guy. So I didn't think he could play drums worth the shit because most of the rock and roll people just get back in. Are you, you talking know. about David Lyle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's first person that said that. I didn't think he could play good drummer. I didn't think he could play country drums. You know. So uh, I'll so get you a check, man. So he comes it. back here. And he's laying the shit down. I'm look, and then every time I turn around, he's balancing a drumstick. On his nose and shit, or got one up his ass. Well, he heard the meter <laughs> start fluctuating. <laughs> 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 but he did it. I mean, it surprised me. I mean, don't get a big head, but he's a hell of a drummer. But the first famous guy at the floor of Bama was John Rich. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. So he come in there one day, and and I'm in the bathroom peeing. I said, 
John Richard, you about a songwriting some bitch? He said, Well, I'm the last part. And so I, <laughs> so, so, yeah, so, I, so I knew I liked him. And, right. and uh, I said, You need to get up there and play one. I just got finished, broke down. And he goes, I'd love to get up there. Just somebody get me a hot guitar and I'll do it. So I went to our sound man, Larry Strickland, has been there forever, mm -hmm. that lived over in Boys Town across the street in the little trailer there for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Been there forever. Yeah. Just walked around like this all the time. Hey, you know. <laughs> Sitting on like a million dollar property. Yeah. yeah. They be yeah. 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 And I said, hey, Larry, John Rich is here. And they just had that, you know, number one. Ride, ride, save a, a horse, save ride a horse, ride a yeah. pony, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes, he goes, yeah, horse. That's it. He goes, <laughs> he goes, so Larry, John Richard, you know, he, yeah, I know who he is. Said he wants to get up there, blah, blah, blah. He said, no, no, I ain't got time for that shit. What? And I said, what do you mean you ain't got time? Who are you setting up? It's some local yokel band. Yeah. He said, that's their gig. I ain't going to have them fuck up their gig. I said, this is John Rich. Yeah. He's getting a shitload of money. He's willing to play for free. I don't give a shit. He ain't getting on his stage. Tell him to it. go back to Nashville and write another damn hit song. Get the fuck out of here. So I walked around the corner to John. He said, everything cool? I said, yeah, man. You good. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I went and found a manager and told him, you want to get him on there? And I got to tell out there. So, but they got him on and he played like all night, they said. Oh, wow. yeah, he did it. He's been down there a lot playing. He does wait, a good wait, job. Wait, wait, wait. You left? Yeah, I, I hate him. <laughs> he, 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 he wants to be a bad man. He wants to be a bad man. Y'all did well. I mean, I heard he played for a while. I left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you know you own it when you just, hey, John Rich is going to play. Yep. All right, I'm leaving. Yeah, it's not a <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, so If it would have been 7.30 or something. Yeah. <laughs> when he says he's in bed by 10, he means it, dude. My daddy got to get home and soak his hair more and take my bed on. Put my <laughs> CPAP <laughs> mask on and go to La La Land. You got a CPAP too? Yeah, your time's coming, bitches. No, don't, I got one. You got one? Yeah, yeah man, I what are you talking one. about? Let I got all the this. health problems. Let me ask you this. I think he does too. Yep. Who does? Frank yeah, and Charlie CPAP. Yeah, we got. Uh, that's uh, the only hoses that are on our tour bus. That's right. CPAP hoses. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Do you, ever, you and your wife ever get together? Like, no. You know, she looks at me. She's uh, like, come she's on. like, hey, don't worry. When I put my mask on, sometimes she's like, don't worry, honey. I'm not going to try and fuck you. Not with that mask on. <laughs> Why not? I thought it was like Top Gun. Is that what you did? Is that what you did? <laughs> <laughs> come in. Grab my hose. Right from the <laughs> <laughs> Turn it loose. Uh, uh, she makes fun of me all that she'll just look at me and be, be like, What she goes, What did I marry? <laughs> and going, um, I don't know what you married. I guess I guess this is a rough look for a gentleman. You got no full face mask or just the nose? No, nasal just pillow. under the nose, but it's still it's birth it's the best form of birth control you've ever oh, seen. Yeah. Well I'll tell we you this. Uh if this happened to you, I went to Walmart. Probably. I went to Walmart and happened to walk by. This is like two o'clock in the afternoon. I've been up for a long time. Happened to look in the mirror and I had uh, oh the red the red <laughs> yes. the, oh, the, the CPAP mask yeah. walked all up my face. Oh yeah, I thought, damn. <laughs> oh I know. Thanks, I, honey. Thanks for telling me I look like this before I left the house. And I got to thinking, I might not be a player anymore. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. My player we don't know maybe yet, but maybe. Yeah. Man, you can tell the damn difference. So once once you go to using one and then like you don't use it for a night you can tell the difference boy oh yeah i mean i wake up and feel like shit if i don't wear mine i gotta wear mine of course i, I snore so bad too but a lot yeah. of people with big penises do that yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah that's what it is. you know what i never thought about that correlation but you might yeah, be on to something there I, <laughs> yeah i think so i'm, I'm only like doing everything one, like that you better you get trying to prescribe me one you know you're talking <laughs> So you're saying you need a big so, penis? Yeah, is that what you're saying? I have a physical and he's like, you probably need a CPAP. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody needs one. They'll, they'll yeah. tell you one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, you're talking about that CPAPs and getting older and shit and tubes in years and oh, yeah. all that all that shit. But did I tell you when I got my vasectomy? Oh, no. What happened? So, yeah, so I just get married to Jamie and my wife and <laughs> the second marriage. And I decide that I want to get a vasectomy. And this is an honest God true story. So I go to a doctor that I don't know. I walk in there and know his damn nurse. You so know? Oh, no. I know her. I said, Shit. You gonna be looking at my that's, a, that's the worst. Yeah, it's the worst. So I go down there, ready for the procedure, and I'm laying on this metal table, 
and I leaned back, got my clothes off, and she's got this little damn white towel over my damn tally worker there. And she goes, <laughs> what I need you to do, Jack, is I want you to get your uh, get your penis and let up on let up on your belly, and I'm gonna put this towel over. <laughs> and I said. What? Am I black from the yeah. waist down? Yeah. Boy, you, want me, you want me to lay my penis up on my belly? And I kept looking at my skin going, hell no. <laughs> well, <laughs> well so every time I did that, it just flop. Because <laughs> 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 I'm a grown on a show. I'm like this. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, I'm like, hey, I'm going to get it to lay up on my stomach. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, 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 we get all that That's why you done. snore. It lays over your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> we get all this shit done. <laughs> And the doctor says, now, Jamie, stop by Walmart and get a bunch of frozen peas. And you put on Jack's heard boy, of that. you know, yeah. bigger old boy down there. said, okay. So Jamie does that. And I go to her house and we're laying. I'm in the bed and she gets up and goes to work. She comes home for lunch. She put peas on my balls and came home for lunch. <laughs> and uh, I pull back the sheets. She said, how you, how you boys doing? Pull back the sheets. And I swear, I swear, my dick was black and blue. <laughs> My balls were black and blue. My thighs, my dick is falling off. Oh, gee, I'm losing my dick. <laughs> I'm losing my dick. I ain't gonna have a dick. And I looked down, and the sheet was blue. She put fucking blueberries on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> And that's an honest to God true story. Dude, we were, it was so tough. And when you started telling that, I was like, oh, no. Well, this uh, went south. Yeah, this yeah. is not something to laugh about. Stop <laughs> laughing, guys. Stop. Yeah. And oh, please God. been in the crock pot too long is what yeah. I thought. Boy, I, I feel depressed now after coming in here. I'm going <laughs> to tell my I'm health tell you, issues. I'm, I'm going to tell you what this. I got to do last week. Uh, my first damn time. Uh, uh, I had a, I had a colonoscopy stuff. last week. Oh, oh, no, you did And the, yeah, I, well, I was supposed to have an upper endoscopy too. I just I wouldn't let him use the same tube, so they just done a colonoscopy. <laughs> but but no shit. So the colonoscopy, you don't remember shit about that. They dope you up and you go to sleep. And, but that damn prep, I shit like a crippled coon for two days. <laughs> they, you drink this stuff. I, don't don't act like you ain't had one before. You oh, know, I've, had, I've had plenty of them. Yeah, I'm telling you, I've had right so much there. shit up my He's ass. had more cameramen up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking dang. gerbils. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cameraman and gerbils, he's at. We, we're all getting to that age where you got to start doing shit like that. And I was like, fuck. I know they... people go, how you doing? And you're like, should I get into it? Yeah. You know, you know, I got a song about that, too. Oh, oh, let's, oh, go. Let's, go. Right. let's go, baby. Everyone, talking about having shit up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what we are talking about. <laughs> there. There's a critter up my shitter and the feller won't let go. He's hanging on something with a sharp little toe. He's a furry little rascal with a cold little nose. There's a critter up my shitter and the feller won't let go. <laughs> well, I called up a doctor to see what he could do. He said, come on over, big girl, and I'll have a look at you. I jumped in the car, put my foot down on the gas. The man can't do much driving, something crawling up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> the more you talk to him, the more he's like, man, you know what? I got a song about that. <laughs> you know what? Absolutely. What's bad, what's bad is you write these songs, and then you hear something on the news a year later really happening. Some guy banging a Shetland pony or a goat or, you know, a yeah. dog or something. It's a crazy thing. A Florida crazy. man. It yeah. always leads yeah. with a Florida it's man. always in Florida. Yeah, just Florida about. man. Yeah. yeah. Do you, uh, now that now that people are no longer buying CDs, have you navigated a way to get this on Spotify and places like that? Well, matter of fact, I have. No. I'm glad you asked that too. I bet you haven't. I bet you somebody did it for yeah, you. Yeah. But somebody did it for you. Don't look at me a lot. I've been tapping it in myself. Yeah. <laughs> Someone did. And uh, so I started getting these uh, checks from uh, CD Baby, you know. Oh, These, no these checks. They're pretty good checks. Now, what the hell? Then people started sending me videos from that TikTok. Uh, I got, oh, I bet you could be huge on yeah, TikTok. Yeah, they got it. Oh, TikTok, yeah. if you put in Get Out of the Left Lane, there's over 5,000 videos playing that song. And so I've been getting paid. 
I mean, I'm we making do. hundreds of dollars a year. Yeah, <laughs> dozens of oh, dollars. Yeah. I mean, he can't even count it all. It's weird because you got all these truckers down the interstate playing my song, and then now you have people dressing up doing it, and, and old women playing it, stuck in traffic, get out of the left lane. So I don't Dang. know how long it's going to last, but I got me some beer money right now. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, Trey Lewis had the same thing with Dick Down in Dallas. It started taking off online like that, TikTok. All that kind of stuff. And his yeah. songs are like a minute, minute, ten long. They're all just like quick in and out. They get they probably repeat a bunch too. Oh yeah. Being so short. Do get, what do you get requested the most of your own stuff? Uh poontang on a pond. Oh yeah. yeah that's well, good. I mean, if you don't pick that damn guitar get, up and play it right now, it'll be kind of mad. Give, give, us a, <laughs> give, us old, give us an old clip of uh, yeah. right, right. the whole thing. Okay. What's he's got a, hey, by the way, he's got a music video for this that uh, some friends of mine were I mean, uh, you can play it, the whole thing. But, oh, yeah. uh, I got too many hits to get to in one yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike some people in this room. He charges by the night. We yeah. got a It's a little boating song down to the beach. That's right. It's a good one. Hey, me and my baby wanted to go out on the bay. We rented us a boat for the whole damn day. Big pontoon loaded up with beer. Plan on having sex as soon as we left the pier. We're heading toward the pass, spanking that ass. Hey, throttle push down, giving her the gas. I'm getting poontain on a pontoon. <laughs> hey, I've been drunk since before noon. Taking a little blue pill so I don't <laughs> in too soon. Getting poontain. <laughs> That video is available on YouTube. Yeah. Look up Big Girl. I mean, Big Girl. <laughs> big Girl. <laughs> big Girl. 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 Big Big Girl. Big Girl. Big Girl. Big Big Girl. Big Girl. I don't have too many family uh, friendly songs like that in writing. I did write a big girl Christmas CD one time. What? You I did. got a copy of it. Yeah. Don't bring herpes home for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, the some dude is on a Howard Stern network was playing I'm tired of cleaning reindeer shit off my roof. Oh, was he? Yeah. And so I thought I was gonna get to go up there and and uh and to play, perform but, for it. Yeah, but apparently I did, they didn't call back. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Well, they hate you. <laughs> they I mean, they yeah, hate you. Yeah, they're not going to show any love to a guy from the south. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm listening on the web here. I'm listening to the podcast. Yeah, with your boy over there talking about the Jay Leno shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was laughing my ass. Isn't that funny how he played hard to get with him? And yeah. they were like, God damn, this guy, he will not let up, man. He's going to be an asshole. And hey, we're you trying it. to give you money. Man, I'm not interested. Interested. <laughs> that was, that, <laughs> That's a funny podcast. Thank what you, what episode was that one? What's that? I don't know. Have we numbered them? We hadn't even numbered So that was, uh, I think it was episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know where we're at. That's with bad. It right now. Yeah, we don't even oh, know yeah. where we're at. I don't know. That's where you know you pros. You don't know how many yeah. episodes we you just know. do so, so many, man. We just try to be like you. Got so many hit songs. You I've know, got just... I've got a tremendous amount. Uh, <laughs> hey. it's, it's it's hard to keep up with them all. Uh, I'm not teased. Why'd you retire, Big Big Elvis, Big Elvis, Earl, oh, Earl. Elvis? Well, because one, th- can I? I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, you can't trust the damn midget from one time. I have. <laughs> that's a big part of my show because them little it. motherfuckers lie to you. Stop I swear. It. So I do this show and they bring me out in a casket. <laughs> and I, and I come out, I'm in a fat suit with vodka and pills and cobwebs all over me, and I got the whole band with horns and everything. Dude, y'all gotta see this show. I'll tell you, it's and, amazing. And then I have farm animals too on stage, and I got a six foot two nurse, you know, wears like the skimpy shit, and then a little midget nurse that brings me pills all night. Right. But she's a prima donna, and I told her three times, don't take a shit in the dentist RV that he's letting us use to do. <laughs> Because our dentist said, you can use RV, but whatever you do, don't shit in the toilet. She shits in the toilet, and it wasn't oh. like a midget turd. It's like a real person turd. <laughs> yeah. And like he comes in there and sees it. She <laughs> it's a real person. 
Justin, you bet you dare <laughs> back. Uh, I mean, you know what I mean. She's just like a real person. Like, I mean, she's like, a just... big, like a big person. Like a full like person. person. <laughs> sounded better. You and said. Then, and then, let me tell you about it. So when I talked to her on the phone, I said, listen, I need, to, you know, I need me a midget. She said, first of all, we like to call little people. And I said, well, well that's fine. I said, but I'm going to need you call your midget because it's a little bit funnier. And she said, that's not going to happen. And I said, can I call you midget for another $50? She said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then during the show, we're rehearsing, and I said to end. Then my uh, my twin boys, I got a my illegitimate sons, which is big, tall, uh, black guy and a white guy, and and, and diaper <laughs> and an Elvis wig. They're gonna pick you up and hold you at the end. Nobody picks me up because that's degrading. I said, can I pick you up for $50? Yes. <laughs> and so it took $50 me to death, dude. I wasn't making any money on a gig time I got done with the mission. <laughs> then a guitar player says he can't play if the Shetland pony comes in on his side of the stage because he's allergic to damn horses. So I had, And a horse won't come on without the fucking donkey. So I got a miniature donkey and a horse are coming around the other side and they're on stage and I got waffle house syrup on my crotch and the goat's licking my crotch while I'm singing Love Me Tim. <laughs> and the horse is on stage. Well, the horse is on stage. And the girl's holding donkey kicks it on sound, man. Davis Nick, you know oh, him. Yeah, yeah. He runs off side stage and throws up because he got a weak stomach. Right. So I said, that's it. I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you never videoed any of those shows? Yeah, there's some of them on YouTube. Oh, there is? There's some on YouTube. Yeah. And we're wondering uh, how he got retired. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's it's not, got, how, obviously, what he's saying is he got forced into retirement yeah. by management. Pulled out it's a double. weird way to say you got canceled, big girl. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you know, and then I had Michael Jackson come out, uh, a black friend of mine, with a white woman. I said, the king has been going a long time, baby. You know, I want to see my little Priscilla. What's Priscilla? Or I'm going to wear Lisa Marie. And she comes out with Michael Jackson. What the fuck? And so they're holding a baby that's painted half black and white. And so... <laughs> so cancel culture was all so, over his ass. So my uh, black buddy's holding it over the stage, dangling it like Mike Jackson did. Kicks it in the audience. Well, for like two years... <laughs> So, for like two years, people are sending me pictures of this baby, like in front of the Eiffel Tower, Grand Canyon. Oh, they're taking it all people, over the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It just, Dude, you, you should see his, uh, he's got people come in that don't know shit about him, and they'll uh, they'll watch his show and get offended, obviously, because of the... <laughs> Well, how do you how do you figure that? No, yeah. but, but they don't want to. He kicked a half black white baby. Yeah, I don't know you why they they're they so damn tight about shit. Yeah. <laughs> but they'll like they'll leave a Google review for the club. Oh. They'll be like, ah, oh, we came in about you know five thirty six, so you know who was on the stage. <laughs> they're like this gentleman <laughs> was saying this and that, and I'll never come back to your club. <laughs> but, but every <laughs> review they write about him. It helps promote him. Like if somebody reads it, it's like, oh, I got to see this guy. You know? <laughs> well, what I do, I get so many of them that what I do is I have the uh, sound guy, I mean, the light guy, he turn out the lights real low, and the sound man, I mean, the piano guy, start playing real classical. Oh, and you read them? And I read them from stage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, the pig will never be back set. Sorry, some bitch. Blah, blah. But I make fun of everybody. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I had somebody jump my ass the other day over the. Uh, my Biden song, mm -hmm. but I got one about Obama. I got Trump. Hey, if you're in a hot seat, yeah, you're gonna yeah. catch some shit. I, I, I do. I'll do uh, <laughs> just a little bit of my Biden song. That's a good one. I've heard that. Well, I well, <laughs> well I, come on, man. Well, I, I piss on. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, they got pissed off. Wait, we need we need equal time. We need your Trump song. Yeah. Uh, Let's hear your Trump song. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do one, well, you gotta yeah, do we have this yeah. podcast yeah. being cast we in the same. Well, well, Trump wouldn't shut up about his damn wall. <laughs> and uh, so, do we have any Mexicans in here? Any of you guys Mexican? You're I'll be there. the Mexican. What the heck? He gonna build that ball because he can. And get rid of all you Mexicans. He gonna build it tall and build it wide. Keep everybody's ass on the other side. He gonna build that wall. Build that, that wall. wall. Build that wall. Build, build that, that wall. wall. He gonna build it high 
with steel and bricks and Mexico pan for all that shit. <laughs> Senor, I don't call you Mexico no pay for no fucking wall. They <laughs> gonna build that wall. They gonna build that wall. And it doesn't matter. The Mexican got ladders. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, equal time. Equal time. Oh, I got to worry right. about it. I gotta, you got to make he, fun of yourself first. He man. said, if you ain't been, he always says, if you hadn't been offended yet, just go get a drink. We'll get to you before uh, the show's be, over. Be patient. <laughs> be patient. Yeah, but you got to make fun of yourself first. If you can't laugh at yourself. Oh, yeah. I get so tired of that woke shit. I mean, a comedian, look at you guys going on stage. Do you, oh, I don't, do you have to switch your whole shit now? Your whole. It's you, no. dangerous again, man. It's fun. Yeah, no, no, it's fun. I, I think the people, the the people that come to comedy clubs, they're not canceling you. It's Twitter is canceling you, or quote unquote canceling you. I think the people that come to comedy clubs are there to have fun. It's the same thing to come to your show. I mean, yeah, you're going to get a bad Google review every now and then, but I think they're they're coming out to a bar to see a guy sing. You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing? Yeah. What, yeah. Like, it's just like if you come to my if you come to anybody's comedy show, I'm I'm the worst guy ever because I'm not edgy at all. But I'm gonna do fart jokes and dick jokes and we're gonna get. <laughs> right. But I'm saying in general, what do you who's who's canceling you because uh, Daniel Tosh or uh, uh, anybody Ricky Gervais or somebody that's still on the. Uh, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, the people that complain about his his special or, or their special or their live show, they're not going to the live. They're hearing what happens and complaining about it, um, and they're not uh, as evidenced by the BJCC. Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock came, and uh, I don't know if they did sell it out, but we're pretty damn close. And so the point is, but well, they're not canceled. I mean, there's yeah, there's people. Online Making complaining them, about them, yeah. but I, I'll they're tell you just this, to get to get in the show. It was a hundred dollars, so they they win. They're winning. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Even the cheap sheets are ninety dollars. Yeah. I was saying back row in the upper deck was 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 triple digits by the time you paid for everything. <clears throat> and to me, buddy, y'all want to cancel me tomorrow? <laughs> and, I mean, and, and I yeah. can do those numbers. Yeah. I, I can't sell them for fifteen dollar tickets. So if y'all want to go ninety nine upper deck, I'll cancel the shit out of me tomorrow. Nah, everybody thinks they got too much of a voice, and that that their their opinion matters. Is Social media is not real life. It's not no. at all. At all. Social media you know? is not real life. It's just a little small minority of people being really loud. And so it, it makes you think, oh God, is that the way the culture is now? <laughs> it's not. Just these well, little. Hey. Girl, what do you think about that last Victoria's Secret shoot? Did you see that? No, hell, I didn't say that. What are you talking big, about? Had them big girls in it. You didn't see that? No. I'm they did, my big girls. They, they, did a, they did a magazine with with the uh, Victoria's Secret models, uh -huh. and they're, they're oh, all big old girls. Oh, and they, so what? A lot of people don't like it because they're, uh, yeah. little, little they're big? Little yeah. chubby? Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? I, I used to yank it to National Geographic. Only thing longer than them titties was that dick. <laughs> 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 you see one today, you still get a burn. Wall to wall yeah. carpet, you know what I mean? It was, we were doing the thing. We like a damn raw egg hanging on a nail. I was excited. Uh, well, I'm glad. Hey, listen, I, I didn't see it. I didn't hear about it, but I'm glad. I mean, you need, you need I write think song. you need to put you need some down, uh, chunky women on there, some little baby elephants. You know, I like <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like, I like, I like I, large women, anorexic women. I like them all. You I just like, like them all. women. Yeah. That's right. Women. Yep. Not people say they're women. Now, that's, uh, that yeah. really pissing me off. You've right. been burned on that one yeah. too many yeah. times. Yeah. 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 God damn yeah. so, it. So, to me. So, talk, so talking about that, what color wig does Kenny Chesney wear when he comes back in well, the pool? So <laughs> I'm going to wear one, and it's like a brown wig. A little brown. Long, said it was him long hair. Have a ponytail uh, in it. Like long hair? Well, or what? Yeah. yeah, maybe I, down a hair or something, but I, it's been so long ago. I'll probably be lying. It could have been blonde. Who knows? I'm making shit up now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he's changing it out by now. Yeah, yeah. he's changing it out Yeah, he's got now. enough money to buy a few. That old boy made a lot of money, didn't he? Sure. He sure did. He got on that beach thing and tore it up. He's a great guy, man. He does yeah. a lot for charity and stuff. He's That's awesome. Cool. He loves the floor of Bama. Yeah. Well, that's yes. not an exciting story. Who's an asshole? 
Oh. Yeah. There we go. Who came Florida down Georgia Georgia was an line. <laughs> Florida no, Georgia. You know what? I never, <laughs> met them. I never met them. I heard they're nice guys. You know, you know Brian lives down there at Grayton off 38th. Well, Oh, he does? Yeah. Well, I've never met him. Everybody says they're the nicest guy, but I just, I think their music sucks ass. That's just me. <laughs> That's probably people that like you as a person that yeah. thinks your music that's sucks my ass. Music. Yeah. There, nobody thinks my music no, sucks I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Well, <laughs> we've seen Google, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, well, when, when they broke up, I thought, hell yes! I think you did. And then I found out they're both getting their own careers. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know they broke up till he told yeah, me it's Florida so and Georgia. Now yeah. they're separate. Yeah, but you know what? I tell you what. I wish I was them because they loaded with money. Loaded. Uh, you know they loaded. did the right thing, but I, that's just not my kind of music. I like yeah. more the Waylon Merle stuff. You know, yeah. I can I can do some you know new stuff, but not that damn shit right there. Dude, if, like. if you flip the script and started playing new country to your audience, damn. buddy, you you think you've caught in a bushwhacker to the face. Hey, come in here, Dustin, and pull up that video of him catching a bushwhacker to the face. <laughs> what <laughs> did you play? On you. Yeah. Dude. Wait, what are we about to watch? Yeah, what? It's a video what? of what happened, getting, Bigger. Hit Set with it with up, Big Girl. Which, by the way, a bushwhacker is an amazing, amazing beverage. Drink. beverage. It's a drink. It's, it's like a chocolate milkshake that'll get you absolutely just fucking happy. Hammered. Oh well, I, mean, I wish we had him right now. So what's your drink? What did you do to this asshole to get him all riled up? Would you play? Well, the, you know what's weird? Nothing. Out of all the shit I've done, all the shit. I, so we're on stage playing, <laughs> and I get these two guys on stage. You know how I get them on stage, and I make a guy drop his pants and have a woman throw bologna or cheese at her ass, right. and if it sticks, <laughs> no, they get, wait, wait, they wait, get wait, a dollar. Start over. No, he doesn't. Why you start over? We he don't. just glosses over. <laughs> yeah. shit, right? You know, oh, you do right what now? And I, yeah, I get, a, like I get guys on stage, and they drop their pants and show their ass, and I get a woman throw throw cheese at their ass from out of the restaurant. They to see if it'll stick. stick. It. Yeah. And if it sticks, you know, they get a they get a OCD. I can't give away in a dollar or some shit. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so anyway, I got two guys up there. They're both brothers. And they're throwing baloney. Well, anyway, so throw the cheese on it, and it sticks. And I said, you can walk away or stay and play. Because he's... <laughs> <laughs> and they said, we're fucking standing and playing, dude. And so the dude had the cheese still on his ass. I told his brother, I said, if you eat that cheese off his ass, I'm going to give everybody $2 each and two CDs. So thinking he would just take that cheese off his ass and act like he was going to eat it, he gets on his knees and puts oh his face up to his ass. And his brother's ass? Ate, ate the cheese off his brother's ass, which, you know. Well, it's good for the audience. Yeah, what yeah, kind yeah. of cheese well, was it? Was that take somebody off? Was it pepper jack? Or what was it? Yeah. <laughs> it was that cheap shit they serve at the Bama. <laughs> That's American. Yeah. Yeah. That's like government cheese. So he cut. So this woman hands a hundred dollars. Said, "Make them keep playing." <laughs> well, then keep playing. Keep playing. I said, I'll tell you what. I'll throw you another CD if you'll lick his nipple. <laughs> so he licked his nipple. Wait, his brother? Yeah. So he licked his brother's nipple. Oh, God. There's a guy in the audience just fuming yeah. at this point. And so their buddy is in the audience. So anyway, the guy after he licked his nipple, now he's drunk as shit. Then I had him do something else, forgot what. Then he gets pissed off. And he, no, he wasn't pissed off. He grabbed my guitar. Okay. And I said, don't grab my guitar, dude. You know, it's all cool, though. And I turn around, he grabbed it and throws it in the crowd. Oh, and I tell it, and a, a guy caught it right there. And I saw, so I looked at my stage guy, Rick, he's 75 years old. I said, get his ass off stage. So he gets him. The guy swings on Rick, the 75-year-old guy. Rick tackles him, oh, this turns. dumps him off the stage. Rick don't look like a guy that's prepared for this kind of action, yeah. dude. I've seen him before. He doesn't look like it head of security he's and just they're off the stage and and they're fighting this 20 something year old guy and 75 year old friend of mine rick so me and a keyboard player jump down there so we tune this guy up a little bit you know getting him under control and so the cops got there and handcuffed him as soon as we get back on stage me and steve looked at each other and said, Who's a man, bitches? <laughs> About that time, their friend threw a bushwhacker right in her face. Let's go. Let's so this, this is video. on YouTube? What this is it is on there? Right. It's on his Facebook it's page. It's on Facebook. Oh, it's on your Facebook. <laughs> he sees him do it, dude. His keyboard player saw the guy that did it. So see, get uh, it. Yeah. They cut the video. Who's, your, who's the redheaded guy, your keyboard yeah. player? So, He's... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, oh my God. So, God my. so after, after he jumps over and tackles him, I come up behind him and then they cuffed him and. Took After he was paralyzed and couldn't move, he, he, Jack just came out and what, 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 uh, what assisted living facility is he in now? <laughs> Here's a good part. So, anyway, they take him out there. there. There's two boys and their friend, and they're down from Wisconsin. And so the cop comes in. He said, what do you want me to do with these guys? I can arrest them for assault and battery. Oh, so like, no, we, can, we can plant drugs on him. I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll do anything you want us to do. You know, He's what do you want us to do? We'll do what you need. And I said, well, I don't know what what's up. He said, well, right now they're in a cop car and a mom is screaming at them at me, telling me to take their ass to jail. Saying I didn't raise my boy that way and her friend. Oh. Bob went on and on. And the mom's saying take, take them to, to jail. Take them to jail. And. Uh, and uh, she said they all rode together from Wisconsin. They were heading back tomorrow. I said, I think it's enough punishment. <laughs> Let them yeah. home with their mama. <laughs> Make sure they stay in Wisconsin for the rest of their lives. Oh, <laughs> their oh, oh, <laughs> Send them back to Wisconsin. Yeah. That's their punishment. Don't let, don't let them vacation during the winter yeah. anywhere. They make them stay in Wisconsin. <laughs> what what all is the Bushwhacker got in it? Man, 151. It's got 151 in it, but something else. It's got a lot of stuff in Golly, it. I you know, it. they keep it secret how much and, and everything. Thing, but I don't know. Theirs are the best ones. I you have them at other bars and they just don't taste yeah, like that. Yeah, I know they got a bunch of stuff and I need to find that out and we could put it on this podcast. So. Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> make like them. KFC. I'm gonna tell you something. I uh, I used to I used to drink carry on party pretty good. I I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't been drunk in a long time and we can change me, that. Me, me and my wife was down at the uh we're down at the beach and somebody else we're at a place i don't remember the, they had bush where everybody's got them there but y'all's is you know floribama's is good and tacky jack's pretty good yeah I like that. as a matter of fact that's where we was at tacky jack's and i had two of them son of a bitches and i i'm telling just slap stupid drunk i had been drunk probably 10 years to that point and they'll get you they'll get you but they're so good oh they'll sneak God up on you you think it's a milkshake yeah yeah, it's so good. I put mushrooms in one last time you I was did? there. Are you talking about <laughs> what? Yeah, it was like the Fourth oh, of July in my head, man. I was like, he was, wow, he was partying. <laughs> yeah, man, I was Damn. ready to go. I couldn't even load the trailer. I was laughing so hard. I took it right before our. I took it right before our last set, and right as our last set ended, I started seeing colors getting real vibrant. I was like, man, alive. The floor bama is just like it's electric. It's so electrified. Everything I look at, so bright. All these damn lights i was just looking up at the lights they're like man you're all right and i was like yeah i think i think i'm fine <laughs> i feel a wave of something coming over me now, David, you're, you're, it's basically a, down there it's basically 151 and some chocolate milkshake man I mean, it's did you close. just google it oh, Kalua, yeah. oh, oh, no it's all oh, over the board Kalua and coco yeah everybody's got different it's a chocolate yeah. milkshake now when you play down for Alabama, david where do you stay do you stay at the uh, river house or what he, they, uh, he told us he was staying at your house so this is hell no we, uh, we've stayed in the house before but man it's like what's so annoying about the band house is that after you play for three or four hours and maybe it's just be getting old and cranky i don't want to hear a bunch of music and they have a jam session that goes on in that den till daylight and so you get over there and you just want to chill and relax and talk shop with other musicians and there's like five m local musicians that can't get in the bama but they know that there's an after party at the bama and so they get up there and they're like it's like they're auditioning they do this hear, yeah. jam thing uh -huh. and it's so annoying it's so annoying so we usually just stay in our bus down at the bottom we plug in kind of like West Sloper does I didn't know y'all had a bus yeah we got a bus man it's, damn come it's a, on with it hey man I didn't know <laughs> well, who you think you're talking wow. to it's a, now it's a special needs bus you can <laughs> sugar pasted windows where you it's can look at it it's a short yeah. on the way down yeah. to the game. 1981 <laughs> Golden Golden Eagle yeah <laughs> no it's an old shuttle bus that we gutted and, and built up and let me tell you man it, it's about split our band up I mean what you've never mean? owned a bus have you oh yeah yeah they are the 90s. ticking time bombs. It's not it. It's Why is it about to split you up? Because the expenses when it goes down, when something <laughs> when something goes down. <laughs> oh, instigator over yeah, here. It's oh, like, I had an old eagle. Every time you have a flat tire, it's like $18,000 yeah. million. Dollars and, you know, oh, it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's just crazy. What yeah. beach gig did you play where you dump the uh, sewage out in the parking lot? 
Oh God! Oh, you don't want to. Has there been enough time I can talk about it? It was a ghost horse that um. <laughs> or got down on down in my. No, no, no. It was. Was it was, pony? Uh, no, it's where the pigs play. Uh, live bait. Live bait. Hey, da- lot, I walked up and David Lana <laughs> was squirting sewage everywhere in the parking lot. <laughs> 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 they, they had a meet and greet in front of the bus, and everybody's like, "Come on!" Probably a paper mill. <laughs> yeah. 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 Next time, <laughs> next time, so you don't have to do that, David. Just pull your bus right up to the sand and get your hose and put it out on those. Turtles nest. They'd, They'd love that. Those activists sitting there, they love that. Uh, you know, you pick up a turtle. And you know what? You, you get real good way. press for that, yeah. too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're out there quick. So I wrote a song about a turtle a long time ago. I can't even remember it, but it wasn't not one laugh. No, they love it. Nobody laughs turtles. about the turtle shit. Now, they hate them down beach mice, rats, some bitches, but the, the turtles, leave the turtles alone. They, oh, they, man, they, they don't play games. They're vigilant about that. I just seen the. Which I think they've done it a couple times before, but they just outlawed booze on the beach down there. Well, that is, is that for spring Shore break? during spring break. Okay, just for spring break. Spring on. break. What now, about straws? Can we still drink out of straws? No, no. But you know, if you're an adult and it's not in a, yeah, it's not in a beer can or something, they're not going to say anything yeah. to adults. But. People but now Orange shit. Beach is a little more lenient. They don't do anything with the spring break, no drinking. They don't talk. They don't want it to turn into Panama City, you know. Yeah. yeah they, but they're more lenient. They like the tourists. They want them to come down there. You know, they're not. If you're growing up on the beach drinking, they're not going to do anything. If you're not having somebody throwing cheese at your ass or something. <laughs> cheese <laughs> cheese <laughs> your ass. I saw a couple having sex on the beach, like in broad daylight one day under a towel. Well, wow. that's how we met. But <laughs> <laughs> so me and Charlie met. We were at the we were towels sitting side yeah, by side. That was and, uh, well, I bet that beach has pulled some poon back. Today. Oh, yeah. Still do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You think it's romantic having it sex on the beach. It it's not. the worst possible thing you can, you can do. I know. I, I, as a teenager, I thought, man, the first lay I have on the beach is going to be nice. And then <laughs> it is a fucking disaster. Like, it's you all s- in my vagina. You, you still- said that in your teenage years? You went, the first lay I have on a beach? Yeah. How, yeah. How, how were you when you got laid the first time? You what? still you still I was nine years old, bitch. <laughs> 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 How old was he? He was in Arkansas with his cousin. Uh, yeah. He was 16. Yeah. Now, if y'all gonna make a joke yeah, about it, yeah, kiss my yeah, ass. Yeah. I ain't telling you about my, yeah. my history. Did you hear what what he church was y'all going to? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, David, you, you still remember his name? <laughs> <laughs> I remember her name. <laughs> when did y'all get laid for the first time, you sons of bitches? Not 16, bro. No. I was a nerd, apparently. What? Yeah, 16? Was, you were later in 16? Way later. What? What about you? I was 15. 15? I know, yeah. no, I know Bert's story. I'm not even going to spoil it for him, but go go mm, ahead. You know my story. I know I know. When did you get laid? Was, 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 was it yesterday? That means it was a serious story. Yeah, with a partner. With a partner. How do you know my story when I don't know Because you told it so many times. Really? Yeah. You don't have to score because I don't remember it. You don't remember the first time you I don't had remember, sex? I don't remember a, it being a big story. No, I just remember it. I mean, this man this I mean, he was there watching it. Yeah. <laughs> he was the yeah. cameraman over here. He here. was 30, <laughs> yeah, 32. I'm sure. <laughs> you were in the studio. I bought you a blow-up partner for Christmas, man. Yeah. yeah it's, like, Bert, it's like my first time all over Bert, again. Bert told me a story one time uh-huh. that uh, his first – now, I don't know if he was just kidding or not. Uh-huh. Maybe I didn't get the joke, but it was with his with his <laughs> babysitter when he was nine, which kind of sounds like a bad porno. Well, yeah, I don't know. You I got laid at nine man. years old. Yeah, well – I, it's hard to say that's my you first You deserve like, this drug streak you have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that started way too early. <laughs> wait, 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 I did what wait, I could. Wait. I'll just put it that way. Uh, he did mean? what he could. Huh? What does that mean? I, I mean, mean you, I was nine years old. How I did you know where to stick it at nine? She showed me. Oh, my God. I, did well, she get she led, what, nine. Did they bring her up on charges? No, I never. I didn't tell anybody about that until I was older. How, what was, how what was, was her she? name and address? <laughs> how old was How old was she? Uh, she was older than me. I don't remember how, how old she was. Probably she was older than me. I was like 14. I like 
14. I'm not kidding. I was nine years old, too. Same my brother thing. was old. My brother I didn't was really 11. know what I was doing, but I know it felt good. And then I had a dry spell until I was like 28 <laughs> or something, <laughs> I don't think 15. <laughs> but it was weird. At least. Was it a babysitter? I don't know if I actually had any penetration going on. Yeah, we was playing drive-in movie in the back of a car when my parents were out for dinner. And we were playing drive-in movie. And she started following me. And I liked it a lot, dude. I mean, a lot. <laughs> What does oh, playing drive drive in movie mean? Yeah, well, you know how you used to go drive in movies, you know, yeah. and you get in the back seat and make out when you see them doing, and that's what we, I guess we're doing. Wait, but you I were guess. at the drive in movie? No, you're just in, in your parking lot in, 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 <laughs> in a red car. In a red car. We have a red car behind our house. <laughs> and so, and is it like my parents go inside the red car? We just playing drive in movie, and she's following me, and I like this show a lot. <laughs> my wasn't that exciting. Yeah. My I've wasn't that exciting. That yeah. Yeah. Was and that a, was it. A I'm mobile home. You're, you're mobile home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, classic. Oh, what? Yeah. And by the way, St. Germain's going to chime in in a second. We're waiting on his Craigslist ad to hit. Uh, when they respond, we're good. <laughs> uh, you want me to respond now? Yeah, when was your what's first time? Okay, I was 15. But here's, here's a funny-ass story. With oh, it. God. I had... When I turned 16, you know, I kept throwing all these damn condoms and stuff over there by this fucking stop sign. And when I turned <laughs> 16... Wait, 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 When I used, used what do you condoms... Mean? Why? Yeah, used condoms. Okay, so were I... Were you using them? Well, yeah. Uh, I was, you were I fucking was, so much at 16, you were dumping used condoms out of the stop sign. I would do it every <laughs> night, okay? Jesus I would, Christ! I would sneak in a window <laughs> and... And well, then when I'd, no, leave, when I'd leave, when I'd leave, I just tossed this shit over there by the damn. Well, I was friends with her brother. That's actually how I met her. Now this okay. is getting sick. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, now I'm gonna need to calm down. Just a judge, just a judge for the fucking area over here. Yeah. So, my day. <laughs> <laughs> Their dad was mowing the yard, and uh, the old mom, talking, you're mowing his daughter. No, <laughs> well, their neighbor ended up talking to him, saying, "Hey, you know, we've seen this guy over here, damn, throwing these fucking condoms over here." <laughs> And and I had just turned sixteen. I was over there. I can't. I was over there, and uh, so what happened? So I was inside, and uh, and how and her. Do what? No, not inside of her at this time. Just during the day. The and I was in the hallway. I was in the hallway with her, and uh, her dad comes in and just pushes her off into her room and just fucking decks me. So I land over her, flip over her little brother's like with a hard on. You just got hit. No, dude, this during the day. So I wouldn't actually. He only gets sex hard at night. Day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm oh, so he heard night, about it and just came home whipping your ass. So you come home, you were in his house, he punched. He punched. You. Right. Yeah. After he had talked to the neighbor and they yeah. had told him the story that I was over there dumping these fucking condoms Your off evidence him. is stacked up in the so, uh, <laughs> Yeah. So That's why I there's was a roundabout at this down point. That. So I've been fucking her for about a year. <laughs> and my car was facing towards the cul de sac. So I had to, when I left from him punching me. <laughs> Her, you her brother, right back around, but her I, brother I, 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 hopped in the car with me. Yeah, so did. she did. No, her brother hopped in the car oh, with God. me because he didn't know what the fuck it was about. And then, <laughs> so I went head. down the road, turned around, <laughs> and her dad was standing there in the middle of the fucking road with a shotgun. Oh God! Oh, did you run him over? He fucking shot me, shot at me three times. No. Fuck my car up. Fucked it up. Then he slept like on the condom. Was up up. In the car with me. <laughs> so he fell the fuck down. So his son was in the car with me. Yeah. Drove home, pulled up. My mom's standing there. She's like, "Honey, what happened to your car?" So, <laughs> so that like, was well, the first time you had sex. Yeah, that's a hell when of a story was, for the first time. I can't oh, yeah, talk that. Was, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's like, did you bring up charges? Did he go to jail? Did you go to jail? Did he go to jail? Did he go to jail? Did the brother? No, it just turned 16. I wasn't going to go to jail. Hell, she was the same age yeah, as I was. Yeah, but did he for she yeah. your fucking car? Now, no, we had him repair the fucking car. 
And, that, but and you know what? Night, you were hanging by I, the balls. You were fucking his daughter, and he shot at your car. Yeah, and you still could have put him away for life. over there that fucking night, man. I <laughs> 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 shit you not, man. <laughs> God. Can you hurry and repair this, man? I got a date. You know, that's more about know this. Bigger old road song about, about it. <laughs> 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 well, I was fucking a girl. <laughs> Next time y'all go to Florida, he's going to have a song about it. Oh, I'll have one about it. I'm going to go to the Daddy, show me I can never go back. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Oh, God. Daddy, shot me. <laughs> but I just want to. I mean, I'm having trouble oh, understanding what part yeah, of the story. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. When he writes his song yeah, later, yeah. he needs yeah, okay. to be so you, 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 were, you were tapping that. You were tapping at uh, in the house, right? In the house, yeah. And in so, her bedroom. But you were taking the used condom with you outside the house and dropping it by the stop sign? Right. In their well, neighbor's yard. Okay, that makes sense. I just want to make sure. Was you, was you, see, I wanted to do that so it wouldn't it. be on the property over there, you know? Yeah, were you, you still it? wearing it? Hey, was that means I'm not going to take that bitch off. Or did you just pull it off? <laughs> that's right? a good, right. Right. Been that's off, a good right. question, I'd Charlie. I'd on the damn windowsill because I'd keep, I'd sneak in through the damn window. You should have just hung them over their damn clothesline. Wait, oh, so you get done, lay it on the windowsill, and then when you decide to leave, grab it while you slipped yeah, out the window. Exactly. Well, that's yeah. I just damn uh, throw it normal. over there. And, yeah. uh, that's pretty this, normal. This buddy of mine in Arkansas got in trouble because he'd go over his girlfriend's house every day and flush the condoms. And oh, there's, there's, there's another sewer. sewer. <laughs> their sewer got They're messed up. They had oh, to get That'll cost you. Right. That'll cost you. Oh, and then they had to clean it out. That's a mistake we've all made. You gotta ask if you're on septic or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't have to. You, you don't have a grinder pump, do you? You don't have a grinder pump. <laughs> don't need to live. Don't <laughs> Say, Jermaine, you should have thrown them over the power line like they do shoes. Yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shots. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, I tell you, I had a bus driver named Earl that ran sound too when I was in Nashville. Yeah, and he's a big fella. We didn't call him Big Earl, but but after I did my first CD and I, it sucked so bad, I didn't want to use my real name, <laughs> so I thought, what can I do? And Earl just popped in my head, and I went with Big Earl. So years went by, quite a few years went by, and. Guess who shows up at the floor band? No. Earl. No way. My old bus driving. Right now, he's doing, I think he's working with Kid Rock. He's a production manager. He's with Jason Aldean. He's been, he won, won all these awards for production manager. And uh, at the time, he's with the band Perry. Yeah. And uh, he said, you know what happened? He said, they called me on the bus, said, Earl, we didn't know you had a CD. And they were playing Poontang on a pontoon. <laughs> and he's listening. He goes, I know that voice. I used to work for that son of a bitch. <laughs> so he, so then he shows up at the Bama wanting royalties. So good. Yeah, joking. I said, yeah, you better be glad you joke because I ain't made any money. <laughs> but that's how it 10% was. of nothing's nothing, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how it was. Uh, it's about it's about time to get the season going. Ain't it? Spring break right around the corner. It sure is. They, they, All them young 62-year-old oh, women are going to oh, be out yeah, there at the yeah. Bama. <laughs> i tell you what, I don't, I don't draw hardly – well, I draw a few young people, you know, but it's like three generations now. You do frat parties every now and then. You call me and you're like, hey, yeah. you ain't going to believe this. A frat wants me to come play for And they're singing my songs out there, Roadhead and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Never ask for a head on a gravel road, you know, all that yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, y'all got to get one of the CDs, man. It's and, so uh, good. Yeah, so, but mainly people come to me, the older ones, the ones that have money. So oh, that's they good. like buying a lot go. of drink. There that's a go. good. That, Not like your little teeny bopper. You're come damn see right, you, man. <laughs> damn no tipping sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> damn right. Oh, shit. Yeah, the band, anybody that works the room when we play that night, it's like, man, you got to bring some higher paying tippers in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> they would never let me in the door. Well, we there. sold so many waters tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, they move alcohol. It's probably just shitty tippers. I don't wow. know. They're selling it. They're just not tipping. Well, it's the new record holder for the Stardome, by the way. How about that? He shit? set the yeah. record on alcohol volume of alcohol sold at the <laughs> that's, per person. That's yeah. badass, man. Yeah, I mean, only ten people there, but they drink their ass. <laughs> <laughs> I should be there in the spring or summer, and that's my new goal. I'm gonna tell everybody just keep buying round the shots. We got to beat big girls, no ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to move him off the record. Uh, I know. I thought, man, I'm pretty proud of that. I wonder if you give me a plaque or something. Yeah, they should. <laughs> like that. Yeah. I need some. You need some kind of awards or something. Need some yeah, the only record I have is at the uh, Stand Up Live Huntsville. I have the uh, highest bar tab for the green room. Well, oh, for the green room. <laughs> Imagine that of check. all the comedians. They're like, like you got it, son. They, they came back it. there to pay you. They're like, you owe us money, actually. Tonight. <laughs> By the way, you went heavy on the free food. <laughs> I mean, we said it was free food, but we're it's costing us. I'm like, free God. food's free food. That's what you told me. Well, brother, we appreciate you coming in today, man. Well, thank you so much for having me. If you'll do this, if you'll end us on a like a half a song, you know, kind of like you've been hitting us with. <laughs> 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 you get us with a quarter song when we get out of here. Man, you must be related. That's what everybody says about me. They say, that's some bitch don't never play a full song. <laughs> <laughs> man, I can't wait to hear your CD. When Come you on, man. I'm excited about great. it. I really am. Oh, I mean, you sing your ass off. Oh, uh, me and old Jacob Button and, and Bert and... David and Terry Sharp, we 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 getting it going. So, you Man, know, I'm excited you, I, to get it done. I, I can't uh -oh. wait to hear it. Well, I, mean, I, I, I like, I like to pitch you a song. Oh, okay. Come on. I used to write real songs. Oh, I wrote here we a few go. up in that Nashville, Nastyville. Oh, Nastyville. Yeah, here we go now. Big, but but I, my shit probably better than anything you'll ever come up probably. with. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Probably. <laughs> here we go. I've been doing some writing with Florida Georgia Line here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, girl. <laughs> oh, girl. Painted on jeans. Let's yeah. go. Dirt road. Yeah. So, yeah. Sometimes I get asked, "What's the stupidest song you ever wrote?" And and it's pretty. They're all stupid, but this is this is stupid as shit right here. It's about a guy from Mississippi going down to the Gulf to get laid, and he can't get laid, so he goes out and in water. And just hoping a dolphin would come by so I can get him a little bit. And so I wrote this song. <laughs> Y'all don't be cracking those smiles. It's a serious song. Well, I went out of swimming about a week ago. 
I drank it like a fish in the Gulf of Mexico. Getting drunk on my ass and horny as could be. When a dolphin swam by and backed up to me. I said, hey there, dolphin. How do you do? Well, I don't want to bang you if it ain't all right with you. So tell me what comes next if you're horny as me. Well, A, B, C, D, E. Y'all give it up for everybody. All right. Y'all see the floor back one more time. What's your website? AlabamaBigGirl.com. Hell yeah! We'll Thank see. You. Look for his tour dates. It's yeah. really, it's real hard to spot. It's called the Floor Bama. Yeah. Five thirty. Five thirty. Just happy hour. Don't You'll be there. You're giving thirty percent. Yeah. 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 If the sun's thinking about going down, you're too late to get yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll see y'all next week. Make sure you like and subscribe. Now. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.